Today we have author and school counselor Ashley Bartley here to talk with us about her newest book, Remy in Overdrive. So Remy is a character that I built up in the two other books I've written. So in Diamond Rattle Loves to Tattle, Remy was the squirrel who never pushed in his chair um, when he was getting up to go somewhere. And so that was just a brief intro into some of his impulsivity. And then in Opal Octopus, he um, tried to suggest to Opal that she should um, kind of dart from one thing to the next like he does, but that left her with the problem of lots of unfinished projects. And so now we learn a little bit more about Remy. I don't have the official copy yet. I just have the paper copy. Um, but we see a lot more about him. We learn about him. And um, I picked this story because kids who have they're just the prevalence of kids with ADHD, um, at least at my school, but I also know across the country as well, um, that this is something that a lot of educators and parents are looking for suggestions for how to work with their child um, to give them strategies for managing their ADHD at home and at school. Um, so like you said, this is this has been building since the first book that that um, you have a character named Remy and it's it his behavior tracks throughout the series, which is really fun. Yeah, yeah. So he gets his own story this time, and um, he learns that, you know, some of his inattentiveness um, causes a lot of problems, like when he doesn't listen to the teacher's instructions, and then they head out on a field trip and makes a big mess in the field trip and um, almost knocks over a bunch of stuff in the museum, and then um, just, like, jumping out of line when he's in the gift shop, and so he misses out on the chance to get the souvenir that he really wanted, and I think that's when it all catches up to him and he realizes that he needs to really kind of jump in front of this problem that he has and, and seek help. And so he goes to the school counselor first and gets some ideas, and then she gives him ideas to use um, at school, and then also a few ideas that, sh that Remy can use at home with his parents. So he goes home and he, he gets some of those things in place. Uh, that's, that's one of the really special things about your books is that it – you, you provide solutions that could work at, at school and at home. And um, I know in the, in the back, you've got the, the parent and educator tips. And um, I believe there's, there's activities that, um, that go along with it. And it's just really a, a great opportunity to help, help children with the, the things that they struggle with. Yes, exactly. Yeah, and the companion activities, um, those are available on the Boys Home Press website. And there are five detailed lesson plans that um, educators can get to go along with the book. And those are scripted lesson plans. They um, start with discussion questions. Well, they start with a reading of the story, of course. Then um, there are discussion questions. And then there are five different activities that go along with the story with some sharing at the end. So there are five different lessons to choose from. So, you know, educators can pick and choose or mix and match or make it a unit or however they want to do it. Um, but the first activity is called My Ultimate Field Trip, and the kids get to design their own field trip after hearing about Remy's field trip. Um, and they can come up with their own rules for the field trip, you know, in the hopes that they would kind of understand why there are rules on a field trip. Um, and then the second activity is called Lava Lamp Relaxation. Um, in the story, Remy comes up with a relaxing routine for bedtime that'll help kind of wind him down and minimize screen time. And so um, kids can use Remy's lava lamp to come up with some of their own um, relaxing routines. And then there's a museum maze where they can try to get through the museum without wrecking everything like Remy almost did. Um, and then my favorite is called Backpack Vortex. And um, you can go through Remy's backpack, which is probably my favorite illustration in the story. Um, here's a little sample of it. You can kind of go through his backpack and um, cross out what doesn't belong in there and needs to be tossed out and then what should be organized in there. So I really like that one. Um, and then the last one is a craft that you can do called Who Helps Me? And the kids will make a vase and then they'll make a key that goes along with the vase and they'll like tear up paper and glue the paper on depending on who their trusted adults are. So lots of interactive, engaging things um, to go along with the story just to make it more fun. Yeah, that's so great, and and really, really uh, gives gives educators and um, and parents a, a good opportunity to kind of uh, expand on the lesson that you learned from the book. Because yeah, and I think as a school counselor, we're always looking for 
books and lessons that we can use in our classroom guidance lessons. And so I was happy to kind of make this into um, a book that you could use in the classroom and then, you know, uh, have an activity kind of to jump off from um, with that. Thanks for having me and I'm happy to help support educators and parents um, with a lot of the same struggles that, you know, I see kids facing at my schools as well. And, and at home, I have three little boys. And so I see a lot of these things in my house as well.